hope life finds you well and healthy. I am in British Columbia right now, headed east. Got a couple more deliveries to make today, and then we start heading towards the house. I got a load that's waiting for me on the way there. I'm gonna pick up, drag that thing home, and uh, get home and start doing some prep again. Things seem to be heating up every day, but like I said yesterday, you have to remember, please remember my videos are about a week behind. And a lot happens every day. So it might be completely different by the time you're watching this. So just keep that in mind. Everyone at home is still safe and healthy. And uh, the number of cases worldwide is still rising. I've heard reports that China might be on the verge of a second wave. I hope not, but it's hard to know what to believe nowadays, you know, it's everybody is saying different things. I don't trust that government over there at all to tell the truth about what's going on, so all I can really do is see what's going on in our part of the world. And so far it's getting worse. But maybe, maybe if we're lucky, by the time you watch this, it'll be getting better. Let's hope. So I'm coming up to Salmon Arm, British Columbia here. This is where I gotta stop, make one stop, then we go to Vernon, British Columbia, a little way south, and then I go to Kelowna, BC, a little way south more, and then we go empty into the next province to the east to Alberta. Oh, look at this car turning in front of me here. What is that? Nice! I don't know what that is, it looks like a Chevy of some sort. There's a puppy in the back window just hanging out on the dashboard in the back. <laughs> We're in Vernon, BC again here, and I have an empty step deck trailer behind me. I'm trying to keep my mind off of everything today and just trying to get the job done. So we have this, this job done, and now we're headed to Alberta. It's about 800 kilometers, 500 miles empty. But it was either that or no freight. So it's... Saturday today, I'll be there. Well, I could get there late tonight, but I'll probably stop somewhere along the way, maybe in Golden or something, I don't know. Spend the night, sleep in tomorrow, relax, and make my way towards there so that I can load on Monday morning. Some kind of utility trailers. And those are going back to Winnipeg. I just gotta drop them off at our yard. So far this truck is running all right. I've got my eye on the water pump that we were having problems with yesterday. That's going to need to be replaced, but it's still doing fine. It's just, it just needs attention soon. So I'd rather have, have the guys at home work on it so that I can be at home with my wife during this crisis while my truck gets work done. It's the whole plan. I don't want to be in a hotel right now. I don't, I don't want to be anywhere but home right now or in this truck. Even a hotel room. I don't know if they're cleaning them properly. The guy, I know that they say they are, but you know, what if they missed one of the germs? And I get it. Uh, rather just go home. Uh, we've got to get this injector looked at too. It's just a little cranky. It's not like I have a big problem with my injector. Uh, it's triggered my engine fault very briefly a few times but it goes off right away but that does mean it needs to get looked at so let's hope there's no big problems with it on the way home but as you can tell for now we're still still doing fine so I probably need to re uh, replace that so hopefully just one one injector that needs replacing my water pump and I can be out of there for dare I say around a thousand dollars I really don't want to spend more than that right now. I don't want to spend anything right now. I want to spend it on food. But in order to spend it on food, I have to be able to make money to buy more food. And in order to make money, I need this truck to run. So it's a dilemma, you see? I have to spend money to make money. In the middle of a pandemic. What can you do? 
we're still doing fine. We're not worried at all. Uh, all of our families, have I mentioned that today already? All of our families are well. All of our friends are well. And my dad is still trucking, which worries me a little bit. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, uh, he'll be at home. I don't know. It worries me a little bit with him trucking around. I know he's being safe. He's being careful and, you know, he's cleaning all the surfaces and everything, making sure that he's not going to catch anything, but I, I don't know. I, I know he's got to work, just like me. It'd be really nice if he could be home, though, so maybe by the time you watch this, he'll be at home. Well, I'll have to talk with the family and see what he thinks and see what they think and maybe in the coming days maybe after this trip he'll be able to just stay home till till this is over just ride it out until the worst of it's over you know he's turning 65 this year I don't know he might be mad at me for telling you but I'd really like it if he'd be at home guess we'll see see where it goes I've got to keep trucking, but I'm the, I'm the younger one. You know, if I got to help him out, I'll help him out. Got to pull together as a family, support each other, and protect the most vulnerable. Go straight on Highway 97. I'm hoping that you're watching this video right now in the future, and everything's better. And you're sort of like, wow, that was bad. I can't believe how much he was panicking, or how much he was worried, or how worried he was at the time. Things were just fine. You know, I hope you're not watching this in the future looking at me wishing I was panicking more. Ah. But we got what we need. Don't worry about us. You just worry about yourself, okay? You guys take care of yourself. Take care of your family. made it to golden and we're definitely gonna go farther than this sun is still up the time is 6 30 here are we in pacific time yeah we're still in pacific time very specific time i'm gonna stop at the husky esso the esso husky however they want to call it and uh grab us another coffee i might make myself a sandwich at the same time Continue on this road for 252 kilometers. This road? This specific road? I don't think you know what road I'm on, Karen. I don't think this road goes more than two kilometers. Let me get your stuff together. That guy is shoveling water. All right. Ah, here we go. Truck parking just off to the left. Except that one guy is taking up the whole lot, though. I don't know why he would park there like that. I'll figure it out. I'll find a parking spot and we'll talk to you in a bit. So 
certain death lays over that cliff to our right. I can see a train down there. Itty bitty, looks like a little toy train. This is the best we could do to move traffic and freight through our, uh, through this mountain range. This mountain range is exceptionally big and rugged. So, I really think we could do better than this, but not until everything's over. You know, it's amazing how all of our resources in the country are now sort of being focused on the country, right? Sort of what we've been wanting all along. It just took a pandemic for them to finally change the instant policy. I know that wasn't the intention of it, but if we would just spend more of the money in the first place here, you know, we could have a nicer road through here. But What's the word? I digress? Yeah, something like that. Don't want to fall over the edge here. You know, they do, they do put up this little baby barrier just, just in case. At least they did that, right? I mean, the Alaska Highway, it's more dangerous than this, and they don't have... They don't have barriers on the side of the Alaska Highway. I've been up there once. Britt was with me, she'll tell you. Dad's gone up there a couple times too. Those roads are crazy. Britt and I went through there during a snowstorm. A bad snowstorm. And there's nowhere to stop, you just gotta keep trucking. You don't wanna stop in the middle of the road, right? You gotta keep slowly trucking along. Man, that was, that was some white knuckle driving. My first time up there too, so I didn't know the road at all. But I'm here to tell the tale. I, I lived to, I lived another day, survived to live through the pandemic, the Corona apocalypse. Man, I'm really hoping that it's gonna get better. Have I said that yet? I've said that, haven't I? At least coming through the mountains, empty so nice and easy. You just fly right through here. I checked on my water pump when we stopped there at the, the Esso Husky and still doing good. Still doing good so far. So we'll see. Okay, this automatic transmission. Uh, that's why on my new truck, I am definitely having a manual. It's automatic. It always wants to bog down the engine. Like as soon as you're not giving it just a little bit of gas, a little bit of fuel, oh, it like bogs it down to 800 RPM. And then when you need the throttle, you press on the throttle, it has to sit, it has to sit there and think for like five seconds to figure out, okay, okay, he wants to go somewhere, wants to go faster, how much, how much fuel do we need? Let's do the calculations. Okay, we've calculated how much fuel we need. All right, now we've got to calculate which gear should we need? Maybe five, maybe four. No, I think six. No, too low. Okay, let's try five. Still too low, let's try four. Or, oh, that one worked. Okay, good, good. That's how my automatic transmission thinks. That's why I was telling you in my live chat last week that it's just a whole other can of worms. And plus, I need to get my transmission fluid changed when I get home as well. So, But whatever, we got lots to worry about. That's that's life, right? You all got stuff to worry about. I'm not the only one. I'm not thinking or saying like I'm the only one. We're all going through some tough times. These are just my tough times. I gotta share them with you. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a lot of good mixed in with it. You have arrived at your destination. On the right side, flying J Travel Plaza number 785. See if we can find a parking spot here. I was gonna stop near Cochrane at that Petro Pass, but they had a crazy blizzard out that way and I just wanted to get away from there. And good thing I did because now we don't have any snow here. Or there's some snow on the ground, but it's not falling at least. Let's see if we can find a spot to park. And I found the Primo Trucker Josh spot. I'm not gonna show you where it is, otherwise you guys are gonna take it. Every time I start telling you where my spots are, I come in, someone's in my spot. Let's just say I'm on my own. Off in the back, it'll be nice and quiet. I know I'm kinda panicking, and I know I feel kinda 
whatever, like, everyone's a little panicked with this whole situation going on right now, but I hope I don't turn into, like, a hypochondriac that just thinks that he's sick all the time, but I think I'm just really tired right now, and I think I'm going to feel a lot better tomorrow, but... <sighs>